Two extra. Ah, he got his leg. That was a nice bit of work down there, Rinko. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you thought it was funny. Shut up. My God, you haven't aged a day. Remarkable. You've undoubtedly figured out the timeline has been altered. Russia rules the world, and Demichev is the chancellor. Here, let me show you what happened to the world after you saved Demichev from the burning building. Yeah, you saved Demichev, the bad guy, like From a dumbass. The invented the TMD. Demichev wanted it. He demanded I hand it over for him to use in his research. When I refused, he had me and everyone else who wouldn't cooperate labeled as traitors. If it weren't for you, I would have been killed along with everyone else. Demichev was obsessed with the power and possibilities of the singularity. But a few months after it came online, there was a terrible accident. The singularity exploded, killing thousands instantly. But they were the lucky ones. Those who survived were left to a fate worse than death. The E-99 radiation mutated every living thing on the island, including humans. The island was quarantined and abandoned, but not before E-99 had been effectively mass-produced and implemented in everything, from microwaves and vehicles to weapons more powerful than America's atomic bomb. On the heels of this success, Demichev was able to quickly rise through the party ranks, preaching all the while that Russia had a technological advantage it must use quickly and ruthlessly. And Premier Khrushchev agreed. Russia launched a preemptive strike against the United States, devastating its entire East Coast with a single E-99 bomb. Simultaneous attacks were also launched across Europe. Germany, France, Great Britain. None could stand against the E-99 weapons of the USSR's troops. Within six months, the entire world was under Khrushchev's control. But not for long. Demichev used his growing number of supporters to oust Khrushchev and install himself as Chancellor for life. Hmm. So you see, the timeline has been altered, but it can be corrected, and the singularity is the key. With it, Demichev rose to power, and the Soviet Union dominated the world. If you destroy the singularity in the past, History will correct itself. But the only thing that can destroy the singularity is something of equal power. The E-99 bomb Khrushchev desired. There's one aboard a freighter that sunk in the harbor when the singularity exploded. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Take that elevator down into the old rail line. From there, you'll have to travel to the docks. Catherine and I will do our best to help you. What? I'm sorry. Start from the beginning. Russia sucks. Um... Uh, uh, anyway, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, good job saving the Russian. I told you to drop his ass and let him burn. But oh no. Man, Pedo Bear. Pedo Bear would love this uh, time manipulation device. Go on. Take the elevator. Hey! It leads to the old rail line. I'm trying to loot your place. Thank you very much. Better soft personal general. Entry one. I had to lock my tower after the incident. The people were massing at the tower, the lower elevator, and the looks on their faces were not that of friends. Or comrades. You would say? Bearsoft's personal journal, entry 3. I've discovered a network of cooling tunnels that interlink the island facilities and installations. These tunnels used to link up to underground caves where the initial E99 ore was discovered. Yamo. No! Damn. 
thing jumped out of me. Almost got blasted! Alright, search and destroy, get more ammo from enemy and loot. I definitely don't need that. Impulse, don't want that. Hero okay. perks. You should take the elevator to the Shut train. the hell up. Increase maximum TMD energy. Now that, I'm totally down with that. I almost want to get it, get it again. No, well, I can't buy that anyway. Increase health pack. Health, increase health pack is only 500. Hard to increase your maximum health, which of course would be nice on this difficulty. Energetic. Increase your maximum TNG energy. God, that would be nice. I really like the TNG energy. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Damn, that shit gets expensive. I'm thinking maybe um, get another inventory slot, maybe, since it's only 500. That is pretty cheap. Wow, 2,000 and it just gives you more ammo? That's really not very good. I mean, I don't think, I mean, so far, I really don't need ammo that much. Maybe that'll change, but so far, it's just totally not necessary. I'm gonna shoot his locks off. Damn it. I should have broken him the other direction. It's morning. Time to visit the friend. Better sauce personal journal entry five. This bear belonged to my daughter. She never came with me to to Kartoga. She stayed with her mother on the mainland. But this time she is up but she is but by this time, she is all grown up. I wonder if I will ever see her again. If I do, I will bring the bear. But for now, he aids me with my experiments, and he's quite a good listener. I wonder if, if that girl is his daughter. The one that's over there by him now. I wonder if that's supposed to be his daughter. Hmm. Bear sauce personal entry. Two. Well now, I'm here in the tower with my rations fading away. Every so often, a lone phase tick comes from below, possibly looking for nest sites. You must cook them in boiling water and a small dash of my homemade anti-radiation, which consists of garlic, oregano, and an herb only grown here on Cortoga, which subsides, subsides radiation. Taste is not bad, either. That's pretty gross, Doc. Why don't you get the air? It leads to the old world. The doctor needs to shut the hell up. Beresos personal entry for personal journal entry for a second time. In preparation for the man, in preparation for the man from the future, I have set up special stations around the island to aid in defeating Dimashev. I hope he finds them useful. Ah, so that's why we find the stuff. Eh, that's a little excuse. So that's one thing I don't quite understand. Has he been here the whole time? Surely not. Surely he hasn't been here for 50 years. Hey, I want to I wanna read that note again. Oh, wait. Health pack. There we go. I knew it did. Something was wrong. This belonged to my daughter. She, ne she never came with me to Kutuga. By this time, she's all grown up. I wonder if I will ever see her again. See, that makes it sound like he's been here the whole time. If so, that's crazy. Shut the, the shit up. Game developers, seriously. Don't ever have your... Oh. Hmm. After the incident, the people... I wonder what he's talking about there. What the hell? 
Beresau's personal journal, Entry 6. I wonder about the origins of the man from the future. How could it even be possible? When will he return? I must do what I can to ensure he's ready when he does arrive. I am off to my old research. Tim Sirkov Gigorovich. I have no idea who that is. Thanks, Doc. Go on. Take the elevator. Shut the your elevator. ass. He'll be none the wiser. Doesn't seem very Russian. Actually, her face, I don't know. I actually did think that when I first saw her face. I thought she seemed kind of Russian-ish. What's that on her what necklace? Is this kind of a cross necklace? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Bye-bye. It's still up there. Colonel, you should take the elevator two hours from now. Really, you should get on the elevator and leave now. Daughter's like, for God's sake, you're losing it, old man. You've been here for 50 ass years. 50 long years. I've already forgot my mission again. Oh. Well. Oh. What have we here? Deadlock. Press and hold E to create a deadlock. Press mouse 1 to launch it. A deadlock creates a sphere of chrono energy that slows time. Interesting. Getting if I keep thinking I'm finding. Nope. All right. Ooh. Oops. Nope. Damn it. How do I get this? Oh. the bad guys. Ah. Eh, there might be somewhere. This place is pretty clean, actually. Surprisingly. Sweet. I think I am going to go ahead and upgrade the damage, though, on the shotgun. Because, you know, if it's doing more damage, then you don't need to reload it as much. That's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. I'm going to guess that's bad. Maybe? I guess not. Because it wouldn't let me jump across. That's pretty grody. Yep, I'm just wallowing in it because I. There we go. Yep. Looks like. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, that sucks. Ah. 
fixing shit down here. Ringo, can you hear me? Are you alright? Man, thanks for dropping me down. Wow, thanks for dropping me right in the middle of a bunch of those fucking things. That's what I meant to do before, but I forgot how to do it, like, in the spur of the moment. Okay. Oh, shit. Wait, are they dying when they come in here, or...? Wait, I can't even... Are they shooting at me, or...? Is this gonna be another one of those things where they just come non-stop, or...? Coming right now, I might as well loot everything that I can. And I still haven't got my keys figured out. Wow, these things are annoying as piss. Yeah, you, you definitely have to have the Valkyrie in this game. There's no options. Ugh. Now I have to run around and pick all this shit up again. I gotta figure out what the trick is to kill these. So I guess you're not supposed just to run away because they're just going to kill you. That's one thing I'm not liking about this game is they have some seriously agitating enemies. They're just not fun to fight at all. Like in other games, yeah, they've got f I enemies that you hate because they're hard. This game has enemies you hate because they're just annoying as piss. They're not fun to fight at all. What are these X things? I mean, am I doing anything by killing them or... I have no idea. It can't hurt. Well, I guess technically it could. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything. That's the other thing. I can't even tell when they're really doing anything. Oh, they're coming in from the sides, too. Jesus Christ. I mean, are they blowing up? How am I taking damage when they can't move? Like that. Like, where am I taking damage from? Please, thank you. I can't really even look around.
Wow, that's annoying as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even see them actually close to me. I just kind of was taking damage. So if I shoot them... If I shoot the pods... What the he What in the hell? What the fuck are they coming from behind me now? See, shit like that I really fucking hate. When it's like, oh, we've spawned enemies behind you, but you know damn good and well there's nowhere they could have come from. I know damn good and well those guys just spawned out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm totally fine. And the good thing, I guess, is it blowing those up with my time deal doesn't cost anything and it doesn't seem to cause them to spawn more but what even that what is hurting me that's what it's pissing me off I'm like there's nothing there he's not close to me but I'm taking damage Ugh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I would have really hated to be stuck down here with something terrible like the pistol. Holy shit, that would have been awful. Let me try, I'm gonna totally regret this, but I'm gonna try the shotgun. Since it's kind of a wide berth, but I really don't think that's gonna help. But I mean, that's the thing, I don't really know, it doesn't seem to matter. Wow, way to go through the door. It's like they have a ranged attack. I think they're supposed to be meleeing me, but they're five yards away. Ah, oh, god damn, this is fucking awful. Alright, I just picked it up after I've picked up all the items. At least I think so. Alright, let's see if my guy can actually not throw the ball through the door this time. Since the door is not an actual object, I guess. What? I mean, like, again, how are they even damaging me? It just makes no sense.
Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like the hit that either they have some kind of ranged attack that I can't see, or the hit detection is just horrifically bad. I'm gonna try just not even bothering with these pods. I have a feeling that's not gonna matter. Yeah, it doesn't seem to fucking matter. These things are like, god damn it. The ones coming from behind really piss me off because, again, they're just spawning them behind you to be dickheads. Alright, let's cheese this again. And it seems like that's the best way to do it is just cheesing the shit out of it. And I guess they're like banelings? I guess they're blowing up? I mean, it's really hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, they could have at least had the decency. I'm fucking dead because I'm stuck on something. Right, I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to try to get them all in the one little area. Now that's not going to work because they all split up like crazy. Ugh. Nope. Ah, let's try yet again. Maybe if I rush them. They all just split up, so it makes it really... Why do I keep having the shotgun selected? And if you have to heal, you're fucked. Because you slow down to a goddamn crawl. Yep. I mean, the minute you have to heal... You might as well just kill yourself because your guy's like, oh shit, I gotta heal. I better start running it. Fucking a crawl. Because then they just catch up to you and you're fucked. And, you know, I would think the strategy would be get inside the little um, time block thing so that you can heal, but I'm taking damage inside of that, so it doesn't seem to actually pay attention to that sometimes. It's like, well, you're in that, but eh, you're taking damage anyway. Does it make sense with your, eh, you're taking damage. Let's try to take the other ones out. Why is the... Why does it keep changing what gun is number one? And why did... Jesus, fuck. Ah, it keeps changing what gun is number one and which gun is number two. Normally, number one is the fucking rifle. And number two... Yes, thank you. Now, number one is the rifle again. Thank you, game. I wish you'd make up your fucking mind which one is which. Instead of switching it around. Because I keep trying to switch as soon as I do the the wheel, and it's like, nope, you're on number one, and then I try to fire, and it's the shotgun. It's like, well, wait a minute, what? And this is yet another example of why you should be able to quick save, so you don't have to do really boring shit over and over again. Now watch how fast this one disappears. Oh, of course, it makes a liar out of me. That one actually lasted a little bit. See, again, where the fuck am I taking damage from? There is nothing even close to near me. There... I do not understand. It makes no fucking sense. These monsters make no sense. If they had any decency, they would at least start you off like they normally do and say, okay, well, we're going to let you fight a few of these to figure out how they work. And then we'll put you in a nasty situation. And then we'll put you in something like this where you go, oh, I know how this works. Now figure it out. Not, okay, try to figure out how the fuck these things work. And get out of a bad <laughs> bad uh, scenario. It's like, well, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck this works 
because they're nowhere near me and I'm taking fuck tons of damage. Well, the one time I actually managed to survive, I was hiding over here and I bugged some of them out. So that seems to be maybe the solution is bugging them out. No pun intended. Another thing, I have don't really know how long this thing lasts. Huh. Well, that went a lot better. So, I guess that did work. A <laughs> hell of a lot better was cheesing the shit out of them. So, I guess you're just supposed to make the bubble on yourself. And sometimes that works, but sometimes it really doesn't. 